Hello and welcome to the MJ Take on Sports Fan Entertainment 2017 NFL Mock Draft for the Houston Texans. Seven rounds on your screen in three, two, one. So there you go, that is the 2017 NFL Mock Draft for the Houston Texans, my nemesis as a Tennessee Titans fan. And man, if they have the draft class that I have them getting, man, we're in trouble and it's going to be a hell of a competition for this division. Houston Texans, first round, got to be a quarterback to me. And you're hearing John McClain of the Houston Chronicle, y'all know him very well, Texans fans. This guy, my God, he's old, but he's good. And he knows what he's talking about normally. And he believes, as do I, um, that the Houston Texans will take a quarterback in round one. And that's what they should do, right? You're going to have probably either Patrick Mahomes, Mitchell Trubisky, Deshaun Watson, or Deshaun Kaiser available. One of the top four quarterbacks in this draft class. I think you're going to have two available. That's just my personal belief. But it could only be one. I think it's probably going to be two, maybe even three, right? Now, what I'm hearing lately is that the Jets want to take one. Well, it's 50-50 for the Jets, but let's say the Jets want to take one and the Browns want to take one. And they would take either Trubisky or Watson, leaving you Mahomes or Kaiser. And right now it sounds like Mahomes' stock is higher than Kaiser, so I believe you guys are more likely to take uh, Mahomes. But who do I have you guys taking? Deshaun Watson, as you have seen. And this is an interesting fit. And it doesn't make much sense if you're just looking at it from the onset, Deshaun Watson doesn't fit that prototypical Texans mold. I mean, we've seen the Texans have quarterbacks like David Carr and Matt Schaub and Brock Osweiler up until this point. None of them look like Deshaun Watson and none of them play like Deshaun Watson. This would be such a different thing for the Texans, but possibly a good thing. Now, I'm not a big fan of Deshaun Watson. I think he's going to struggle in the NFL at times, but I do like him as a potential game manager. And if you're asking him to come to this team to throw a couple deep balls to DeAndre Hopkins, maybe not deep balls, maybe more like comebacks and back shoulder fades, um, throw a couple deep balls to Will Fuller and just do his thing within this offense, he could push the Texans over the top a little bit to where when you're in that uh, divisional round game against he's the Texans, not against he's the Texans, against the New England Patriots, he could push you over the top and end up winning that game for you late in the fourth quarter if you're close enough. Now, you have to get to that point, and it's not going to be an easy point to get to, but I'm intrigued by this fit. And when you look at this Bill O'Brien offense, what he's able to do so well, or seemingly so well, is he's able to make the job easier for the quarterback. Simple reads, reading half of the field, don't put too much on the quarterback's plate. Now, Brock Osweiler still couldn't handle that. He stinks. Deshaun Watson, I think he'll be able to handle that. I think he'd find success with the Houston Texans and possibly push them over the top. I don't care if it's Watson. I don't care if it's Trubisky. I don't care if it's Mahomes. I prefer Deshaun Kaiser. Actually, no, I wouldn't. I'm a Titans fan. I don't want you guys to get anybody. Um, But if I'm the Texans, I would prefer Deshaun Kaiser because I think he's going to be the best ultimately from this class. Trubisky being two, Mahomes being three, Watson being four for me right? And this is long term. Short term, if you just want to win this year, my short term uh, quarterback power rankings would be number one, I'd say Stuff Trubisky, number two, Watson, number three, Kaiser, number four, Mahomes. Mahomes is a project. If you're expecting to take Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes this year, and y'all trying to make a Super Bowl this year, forget about it. Y'all trying to make a Super Bowl next year, forget about it. He has a ways to go, especially when it comes to winning games, holding on to the football late, Okay, against the Patriots, against the Titans, against the Colts, against these big-time games. You're going to struggle with Patrick Mahomes. If you, if you take him, you start him early in his career, you better be prepared for that. I'm telling you all that right now. Second round. Now, I struggled with this a little bit. I currently believe the Texans have a need at guard. They're scheduled to start Xavier Suofilo, I want to say left guard, and then Jeff Allen at right guard. Neither one of those uh, are very good to me, right? You can improve upon either one of those guys. Outside of that, defensive tackle is possible here. Now, the thing with Jadavian Clowney, 
So they moved him from outside linebacker, from primarily that role last year, to defensive end, you know, to being more of a down lineman for the Houston Texans last year as J.J. Watt was out. He found success. Now, I was not able to hear Bill O'Brien or a defensive coordinator, what's his name, Romeo Cornell, is it Cornell? Uh, talk about how they expect to use Clowney this year. If they're going to move him back to outside linebacker, then defensive tackle is very possible here as you still need a guy opposite of J.J. Watt. Christian Covington, uh, not very good. Jerry Crick is gone. I think he's been gone for like two years now, actually. Uh, you need a guy, okay, opposite of J.J. Watt. If they keep Clowney on the defensive line, then you need an outside linebacker to me. That's also possible. So I won't need it. Okay, I went with guard, and then I decided to address that later in the fourth round. Third round, strong safety, Justin Evans out of Texas A&M. You need a strong safety, right? Quinn Demps left in free agency. You're scheduled to start either K.J. Dillon or someone else that I don't even know. You need a strong safety to me. Justin Evans fits the mold. You take him, good. We move on to the next pick, fourth round. This is where we fill both of those needs because, again, I'm not sure what the Texans are trying to do here. So I have them first taking an outside linebacker and Vince Beagle out of Wisconsin, the guy that was paired with T.J. Watt over in Wisconsin. You don't get T.J. Watt fine, you get Vince Beagle. A little bit of an undersized 3-4 edge rusher, but I think you can find success here. And even if Clowney is moving back to the outside linebacker, you lost who? John Simon in free agency to the Indianapolis Colts. You need that rotational edge rusher because I really loved John Simon in that role. And I felt he gave the Texans defense a nice edge. You could use a guy like that, even if Clowney moves back to outside linebacker. If he doesn't, you need an outside linebacker pretty bad, and you should take one even earlier than this. So I left some room for error, okay? Uh, we move on to the next fourth-round pick, defensive tackle Jerron Jones out of Notre Dame. I believe he's like 6'5", like 316 pounds. He could be that five technique or even three technique if you want it to be. Defensive tackle for you, defensive end for you. Good. Move on to the fifth round cornerback Brian Allen out of Utah. Now, I struggled where uh, as to where to go here for the Texans. I considered wide receiver, but uh, you still have Jalen Strong and Braxton Miller on your, bench, on your bench right now. Those are two guys that they're not very good right now, but they could develop. So do you want another you know, guy that, that can just come in and just try to develop a fifth rounder, you know, to go along with those guys? I don't think so. So I went with corner because outside of the top three in Kevin Johnson, Jonathan Joseph, and Kareem Jackson, there's no one that inspires much confidence out of me. Let's take a corner in Brian Allen. And then seventh round, I have them taking tight end Farrell Brown. It's a seventh rounder. Relax. Um, you do have Fedora Wicks and Ryan Griffin. Outside of that, you don't really have anyone that's too impressive to me. Let's take a tight end. Again, wide receiver was possible here, as was running back, but you took Tyler Irvin last year, and you still have Alfred Blue, so I didn't want to go there. Um, I didn't want to go nose tackle, as DJ Reader should be your nose tackle for the future now. I didn't want to go linebacker, because you guys did take, I want to say, that Bullo, that Max Bullo kid last year, or maybe you guys signed him as an undrafted free agent and he's still on the roster. I could have went there, but I went with tight end, right? Uh, so that's the decision that I decided to make. Houston Texans, uh, one of those teams to where I look at them and they don't have many needs. And number one need, though, is the biggest need, quarterback. And you have to take a quarterback in round one or round two, at worst round three. And their names has to be one of the like six guys at the top. So either Patrick Mahomes, Mitchell Trubisky, Deshaun Watson, Deshaun Kaiser, Davis Webb, or if you fall in love with Davis, not Davis Webb, but Nathan Peterman or Bradley Kaya. One of those guys has to be the quarterback for the Texans next year because you cannot, to me, go into next year with Tom Savage. I mean, unless if you're willing to just uh, surrender the division to the Tennessee Titans or the Indianapolis Colts, or even the Jacksonville Jaguars if they finally decide to do something which they probably won't, um, and then, where are you? Because you're going to fire Bill O'Brien, or he's going to leave. Uh, you're probably going to fire Rick Smith, or he's going to leave. And then now you're in big trouble, because you're not going to stink enough to grab a Sam Darnold, or a Josh Rosen, or a Josh Allen next year at the top of the 2018 NFL Draft. So, to me, the Texans, you got to quarterback this year. It's got to be one of those top six guys, 
preferably one of those top four guys, and I currently have the Texans taking Deshaun Watson, but it would not shock me in the least. If they took a Patrick Mahomes, if they took a Brad Kaya, if they took a Nathan Peterman, if they take whoever the hell they want to take. For your thoughts on this mock draft, comment down below. I want to know. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and most importantly, to subscribe. And until next time, this has been the MJ Take on Sports Fan Entertainment. And I'm out. Peace.